everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. It should come as no surprise that World War II and the tragedies surrounding it resulted in a great number of martyrs. Today we celebrate one of them, Blessed Mariana Biernatska, a woman who lived an ordinary life which she offered to God in an extraordinary way. Mariana was born in 1888 in northeastern Poland. Her life was not one of luxury and her position was not one of influence. She was a humble woman living by humble means. At 20 years old, she was married, and she and her husband had six children. Tragically, four of them died soon after birth. Her two remaining children worked with her and her husband on their farm, which was their sole source of income. After the death of her husband, Mariana lived with her son, Stanislav, and his wife, Anna. Their little family was one of faith and hard work. They prayed, sang, and worked together every day to make ends meet. Despite living in poverty and having already lost so much, Mariana trusted in God and lived in hope. But even this simple life would soon come under attack when the Nazi forces invaded in 1939. They swept across Poland, enacting cruelties of all kinds. Churches and bookstores were destroyed. Innocent citizens, regardless of affiliation, were killed or imprisoned, and tyrannical Nazi rule awaited those who remained. The Nazis sought to quash any and all hope of rebellion. So when a German soldier was killed by those who resisted, they randomly sentenced 10 more innocent people to death in retaliation. It was one of these quotas that brought the Gestapo to Mariana's home in 1943. As revenge for the death of a German officer, Stanislav and Anna, who was pregnant at the time, were chosen to be killed. The two of them had never had anything to do with the resistance. Mariana fell to her knees and pleaded for the Nazis to spare Anna and her unborn child. Anna was against such a sacrifice, but Mariana insisted, you are young, you must live. The soldiers were indifferent to her plea, but they also didn't care who died, as long as the quota was met. They took Mariana and her son, leaving Anna unharmed. The two captives were taken to Grodno and imprisoned there. Mariana spent the two weeks of her imprisonment deep in prayer and ever humble. Her final request before her execution was to hold a rosary. The request was granted and she was praying on it when she and her son were shot and killed. Thanks to her mother-in-law's sacrifice, Anna survived, raised her daughter and lived to almost 100 years old. Mariana is still remembered and celebrated alongside 107 other Polish martyrs of World War II, whom the church honors. Self-sacrifice takes many forms. It takes a great deal of love and courage to die to protect your loved ones. But just as worthwhile is the virtuous act of living a life of service for them. Day by day, moment by moment, Mariana knew both kinds of sacrifice. Observing her life, it's apparent that we don't need a terrible tragedy to have a chance to show our devotion and temper our virtues. We can do it little by little, no matter where we are. Blessed Mariana Biernatska, pray for us.